Hello! I've posted two videos on YouTube about collimating pairs of binoculars. But tonight, because I'm going to be using my tel telescope, I thought I'd show you how to collimate a Celestron C8. <laughs> and with my able assistant here, he's going to advise me on what to do. To undertake this process, the first thing you need is a collimating tool. And this is really simple to make, or it used to be, because this is just simply a 35mm film canister with the bottom cut off and a tiny hole pierced in the very centre of the lid. Now, as I say, it used to be very easy because these were ubiquitous. Everybody who had a camera had loads of these 35mm cases and you can't do it with an SDHC card holder. So that's really what you need and it fits snugly into a one and a quarter inch lens holder which is what we have on the C8. Right so I'm looking through the tiny hole in the middle of the film canister lid and I'm looking up at the secondary mirror at the end of the telescope and I've got oh somebody's just telling me I'm not quite collimated because I can see that the image of the secondary of the primary mirror back here is shifted over slightly towards that way so what I'm going to have to do is go up to the corrector plate end that is the other end of the telescope where the secondary mirror is and adjust the three adjusting screws and tilt that secondary mirror sufficient to get everything concentric through this hole so then everything will be in line on the same optical axis. So what I can see through this very small hole here is that which is a view of the primary mirror and the secondary mirror sitting should be central to the tube. Now what this cap does when it goes in the tool it gets everything so that it will have to be perfectly central and that has to be on the central axis of the whole telescope so as to get the alignment correct. So what I'm doing here when I adjust these screws I'm tipping this small secondary mirror on three points and that alters the light path going down to that central hole where my little collimating tool is. What we can see here, we can see the 8 inch mirror at the bottom of the tube and we can see the image, if you look right in the centre, we can see the image down to the alignment tool because I'm slightly off axis now. So what I'm doing here is I'm adjusting the tilt on this central secondary mirror to make sure that the light is going parallel light is coming into the telescope bouncing straight up onto this secondary mirror and down again down through the central axis to my collimating tool which will eventually be replaced by the lens. What I'm going to do to correct the error that I've got the alignment I've got is I'm going to try I'm going to want to tighten this screw but to do so I'm going to slacken off these other two so I'm just going to go back a fraction of a turn with my allen key and take up the slack on the third screw right it's it's now dark and I'm going to do the second part of the collimation. Now all I've done is I've got the configuration exactly the same except I've taken my little collimating tool out and I've put an eyepiece in. 
and it's a medium power. This is a 16 millimeter eyepiece. And I'm aiming at a bright star. Well, fortunately, Sirius is beautifully lined up for me tonight, so I'm using that. And I'm repeating the process. Now what I've done is focused on the star and it just drifted off a little bit, which I'll get back on. Now what I'm doing is, once it's in the eyepiece, I'm just taking it out of focus. And what, and you can't, I can't pick it up with the camera, I've tried already, but what you would see is when you go out of focus you see a donut and what should happen with that donut is it should be concentric circles so the middle the center of the donut the hole is slap bang in the middle and that is the a dark part then there's an annulus and then there's a dark outer rim now those are the objective and the secondary mirror and if I've done the collimation correctly, and I, I have found that I have, I have a lovely symmetrical donut. And if I go through focus, into focus, and then out the other side, I have another donut. Beautiful. Not even a Dunkin' Donuts one, it's a perfect donut. So I've got everything aligned nicely. That means that once, when I'm in focus, I will have tack sharp stars. So that's really pleasing. Now I have had to tweak a little bit on my screws when I first started this evening because I did have a slightly eccentric donut. My, if you like, my hole was off center, but I just continued the same adjustment and it's brought it in beautifully. The other thing is I haven't put my little angle piece in here for the eyepiece. I'm still going straight through because it's just nice to work on the same adjustments on the same screws. I know exactly where I'm going with that. If I'd have put the right angle in I would have had a problem with things being back to front and everything. So I've just kept everything the same as when I had the collimating piece in. But yeah, I'm very pleased with that. It's worked out very well. And that's it. So two stages to the operation, daylight and nighttime. And the nighttime is the harder one, but if you've done the daytime right, you should find very little to adjust at the night. That's it. Thanks for watching.